So we handled unit testing, we handled widget testing. Now the last one Flutter supports is integration testing. Integration testing tests the app as a whole and basically how all the parts work together. And after the examples I show you in this video, hopefully you'll understand even more. So let's get into it. All right, this is the app we're gonna test. It's the same app that we did the unit test with Mokito for. And you can log in. And I'll have your to-dos in Firebase saved. You can add a to-do. And you can see they show up here. And there's three because this one's true. And if we check this one off, it'll get removed. All right, anyways. So for this video, we're gonna do integration testing. I recommend you go to Flutter IO and read through this whole integration testing part. And now for the test, we don't really need to know how the app really works because we're going to be just testing it, making sure it's doing what it's doing. So we'll create a new folder called test driver and we'll have to add a plugin called Flutter Driver, as well as test. Then inside our test driver, we're gonna have an app.dart, and then an app test.dart. So in our app.dart, we're going to want to add this code. We can change it to our app here. And then what this code does is first, it enables the Flutter Driver extension. So the Flutter driver is going to be the one driving the app, like it says in the name. So it's going to be the one clicking through all the things to do whatever actions you tell it to do. So here we enable it, and then we just call the main function of our app. I pasted in the wrong one. Make sure you put that in here. Then in the test, we can copy this, and paste it, and remove these tests. All right, so what's going on here? First, we have a main, like all tests do. I'll have a group for the to-do app. First, you want to define the finders and use them to locate widgets from the test suite. All right, so we need to find the widgets. Before we actually know what widgets to find, we need to know what we're going to be testing. We're going to be testing three things. We're going to be testing the sign up, the sign in, and adding a to-do. So we're going to be testing adding a to-do like this, then being able to create an account. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. And then be able to sign in. So we have a key for the username, we have a key for password, we have a key for sign in, and we have a key for create account. Then in the home screen, we have a key for the ad field, which is this field right here. And then we have a key for the ad button, which is that. And then we'll also have a key for the sign out at the top for after we create an account and we want to sign out. So let's define all those. All right, so we have found all of our widgets. And by the way, there's other ways to find widgets. You could find by semantics label, tooltip, or type but I feel like using a value key is the easiest, but there's other options out there. So we have our things defined. Next is the actual Flutter driver. You remember I said the Flutter driver is one that actually runs all the commands that you give it. So first thing we do is we connect to the application and this basically sets up for all of them before running any test. And then we also close the Flutter driver once we're done. Now here we can get into the actual test. We'll call this first one create account and it's defined like any other test except we need to make it asynchronous because we're going to need to wait on this driver. The cool thing about integration test is it can work with Firebase. It can do anything that an actual app can do but automated. So let's first make it create an account. I'm gonna do await driver tap the username field because like you do here you can't just start typing you have to tap it first to enter the field right then we await the driver to enter text we'll say tatis1 at gmail.com so there we go we got our username 
we can copy the same thing and do the password field and for the password we could just do a nice secure password of one two three four five six there we go then we await the driver to tap the create account button so once it taps that button it should take us to this and we should be able to see this screen and we can just look for anything that's available in here so we're gonna do driver wait for finding a text called your to do's so here we're going to try to find a text on the screen of your to do's if we find it, this wait for will continue executing and the test will be done. If we don't find it, it's going to throw an exception. So we know we'll have a problem here. So to actually run this test, we're going to need to call this command. Just make sure you are in the correct repository and then paste that in here. And we called ours app.dart, so that shouldn't be fine. So the command is basically flutter drive and we want to drive this app.dart file. So run it. Okay, so our build is done. It's gonna go in here, open up the app for us, and we'll have a tab message taking too long to complete. So we get this whole stack trace because our tab message is taking too long to complete. This is this tab message right here. It's taking too long because we opened, we already signed in. So that's why I wanted this sign out button to be available because we can write a function called if the sign out button is present, then we want to await while the driver taps on the sign out button. And then this is present function is something I found online where we pass the value key and we run that wait for command and it waits for one second and after one second if it throws an exception like i like ours threw an exception for the tap we will return false that it's not present and then we could sign out but if it finds it then we return true and that means it is present we don't got to worry about it so now we can rerun that test so it's launching signed out put in our values and there we go and we can go and check cloud firestore and you'll see Tadas1 at Gmail. So our account got created. So create account works. Now I'd recommend you do it on not your actual Cloud Firestore that you use for the actual app. I would recommend you have like a separate one so you're not messing around with all the data inside in your tests. But then we can have a login as well. So same field, we'll enter the username field, we'll enter the text, enter the password, but then we will tap the sign in button. Now we could save that, make sure to delete this because it won't let you, allow you to recreate an account. And then let's add a test for adding it to do. So this one will check if a sign out button is present, then we will do the test. So first we will await for the driver to tap on the add field and we will enter text or make an integration test video. Then with the driver, we will tap on the add button. And then finally, we will wait for finding a text called make an integration test video. And for this wait for, you could give a duration just like you saw from the is present. We could add a duration here as well if we want, but that's up to you. Duration seconds three. All right, so all set. Now we can rerun that test. There we go, app launches. Let's sign out once, do all that stuff, sign out twice, do that stuff, and make an integration test video. Pops up, all three tests pass, we're good to go. So that's it, that's all there really is to integration testing. You can basically test the app as a whole, run through it, click through it, do all you want, work with Firebase. It's a complete test of the app's functionality, basically. So now we covered all the three types of testing that Flutter provides. Widget testing, unit testing, and integration testing. There's one more that I would make sure you do is functional testing is what I call it. But basically, actually go through the UI and click stuff yourself because these integration tests and the widget test would pass even if all this stuff was off the screen. 
if the widget was underneath something, like let's say you have a stack and the widget's underneath something, all these tests would still pass. So you want to make sure the app actually looks how you want it to look too. But that's it for this video. This is Code Only on GitHub. If you have any questions or anything, make sure you leave it in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.